This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 1651. Eight Signs Your Partner Has Too Much Emotional Baggage for a Relationship, part one, by Orna and Matthew Walters of creatingloveonpurpose.com. Hello, everybody. My name is Greg Audino. I'm your host and narrator here on ORD. Great to be with you once again. And today I will be sharing another two-parter with you. The title might have gotten a reaction out of those of you who are feeling a little uncertain about your partners and what they're really providing you with emotionally. So hopefully this article gives you some clarity. Listen closely as we begin part one and start optimizing your life. Eight Signs Your Partner Has Too Much Emotional Baggage for a Relationship Part 1 By Orna and Matthew Walters of CreatingLoveOnPurpose.com How do you know if the man you're dating has too much emotional baggage for a relationship? If you have a strong attraction to him, you can fall into the trap of excusing his bad behavior and ignoring red flags. You want it to work, so you overlook issues that you wouldn't tolerate in a friend. Your brain keeps telling you that he must be your soulmate because of how strong your chemistry is together. If you can just get him to treat you better, then you will live happily ever after. Disregarding the signs that he has too much emotional baggage for a relationship will ultimately lead to heartbreak. Most people date backwards and give the man that they're attracted to the benefit of the doubt before they really know who he is. Instead, we suggest that you take your time before going exclusive and use the time to observe his behavior and discover his values. Cultivate discernment, and you'll be able to choose a partner who is an ideal match where you can weather the storms together. Look for these eight signs that your partner has too much emotional baggage for a relationship. Number one, he sends you mixed signals. A man who is interested in a relationship with you will pursue you for a relationship. He will call you and set up regular dates, If he's busy, he will let you know when he has time to speak to you again. You can tell by his behavior that he is pursuing you for a relationship because he's moving things forward. Ideally, you'll be telling him, not yet, to slow down because you'll want to discover who he is over time. When you date a man who is relationship ready, you never have to ask him about where the relationship is going. A man who has too much emotional baggage for a relationship will send mixed signals. He may disappear without communication for days or weeks at a time and then suddenly come on strong like he needs to see you immediately. If he's hot and cold intermittently, then watch out. This is definitely a red flag that you need to pay attention to. On a date, he will be completely into you and then he won't call or attempt to set up another date. Some days he will seem completely distracted and uninterested in you. Through his behavior, this man is showing you that he is unsure about what he wants. Either he is not emotionally available for a committed relationship, or he doesn't know how he feels about you. Sit back and allow a man to pursue you. This is true regardless of his age. If a man wants to be in a relationship with you, he will make sure that he claims you and takes you off of the market so no other man can scoop you up. Number two, he wants you to drive the boat. There's a difference between a man who lacks confidence and a man who is in his feminine. A man in his feminine is happy to let you take the lead and all of the risk while he reaps the benefits. A man who lacks confidence will respond positively to your encouragement and will step up. If he has too much baggage for a relationship, he will instead continue to put the ball in your court and allow you to do all the heavy lifting. Some men are shy or don't want to come across as chauvinistic. These men will look for signals from you that the water is warm. Once they are given the green light by you, they will step up to pursue you. A guy who has been hurt may take his time getting to know you, but the guy who's ambivalent about seeing you is just looking for companionship, and in his mind, hopefully something physical, not a long-lasting relationship. A man who has too much emotional baggage for a relationship will act like he wants to be your friend, but then will become scorned when you want to wait and put off a physical relationship. If the guy you're dating seems shy, give him a little encouragement and see if he steps up. If he doesn't, it's time to move on. Number three, he needs you to change. Your soulmate will love you for who you are, the good, the bad, and the ugly. He won't ask you to change your appearance or behavior to fit some fictionalized version of you who he wants to be with. Twisting into a pretzel to please a man will ultimately leave you exhausted and questioning your sanity. Show up authentically. 
speak how you feel, and make requests. Pay attention to how he responds to your requests. If he makes an effort to honor them, then he's looking to win your heart. But a guy with too much emotional baggage for a relationship may argue with you about your requests or your feelings. He may become defensive and argumentative with you, claiming that you're too high maintenance. If he's asking you to change, that could be a red flag that he's looking for something that you're not. It's one thing to make requests and figure out things together as you get to know someone through the dating process. It's not an ideal match if he's judging your behavior and asking you to become a different person. You'll never live up to his ideal. It's better to get out early and find a man who is willing to accept you as is. When you have a strong sense of self, you're better equipped to pass on the guy who is controlling and has too much emotional baggage for a relationship. You can't say or do the wrong thing with the right person. When you connect with the right person for you, the two of you will navigate through the challenges that arise by working things out together without demands or diminishing one another's self-esteem and self-worth. To be continued. You just listened to part one of the post titled, Eight Signs Your Partner Has Too Much Emotional Baggage for a Relationship by Orna and Matthew Walters of creatingloveonpurpose.com And thanks so much to Orna and Matthew for the first half of this article here today. We're about halfway through, five more bullet points to consider coming up tomorrow. But before we sign off today, keep in mind that while these are signals that could reflect emotional baggage, they're not signs that necessarily do. A lot of what we've heard so far could come from someone who's new to relationships, right? And thus new to compromise and understanding and sacrifice, etc. Or we might see these signs on display from someone who has baggage that they're actively working through. The point is that we all have unique disadvantages and shortcomings that we might bring to a relationship. And it's important to watch how these play out over time. Watch how our partner is acknowledging and responding to them, and then consider where they fall into the greater equation of the relationship. So, think on that, everyone. It's time to wrap up today, but there is more tomorrow, of course. So, be sure to come on back for that one, where we will hear the rest of this article, and of course, where your optimal life awaits. <laughs>